I'm Dan, and I have a problem. Halloween is coming up in the suburbs, which tends to be pretty lame, and I want to make it more awesome and badass. So to do that, I decided I'll use skulls and fire because it's on brand for me. But that's not enough. I want to learn something. I've been playing around with ESP32s for a while. I'm one of those Arduino nerds. But then I've realized like the RC FPV nerds are getting all this fun that I don't get to have. So I want to do a project with you know some servos and some FPV and, and some high current motor drivers and the iconic Barbie power wheels because I have one. And I'm not doing anything with it. It's September 28th. That's 32 days until Halloween. My friend Thomas from Mellow Labs was patronizing to me when I said I thought I could get this video done in a month. I'm not worried though. I already have step one figured out. I can receive RC controller commands from their receiver over something called an iBus interface into an ESP32. That's nerd talk for I can read what the remote controller is sending to the receiver on my own controller that I can then program. Look at those pretty lines. Oh my God, look at they're dancing. They're, the joysticks are dancing lines. I can take those dancing lines now and use them for power wheels and other things like servos and propane. We'll get to that, we'll get to that. Let's get our patient on the table. Oh, that's filthy. It's not, it's not the worst. There we go, that's a walk through. Let's get this out of here. Ugh. The default way a power wheels works is to send 12 volt to both of its motors and it's all or nothing. It's either full current forward or full current reverse. And the forward and the reverse is the most mechanically simple back and forth thing I discovered. What? It's purely mechanical. So there are two switches. I mean, it's, it's single pole double throw technically, but not at all the way I, oh, oh, that's horrible. I think I need to get rid of that. I wanted something more. I wanted to be able to control the speed slowly, fast, reversedly. Basically, I wanted like Legend of Zelda with joysticks for like to control your speed. That took some experimentation. If you're enjoying this video, consider hitting the like button. And if you have questions or want to see more detail on anything, feel free to write it in the comments and maybe even follow me or subscribe to me to see future content because all power and glory to the Omnissiah, the algorithm, the holy AI that will ultimately decide all of our fates. Can we end on that one? Look at these two high current rated drivers and I even made this little bridge thingy because they're both just getting the same pulse width modulated signal either way. Eventually I got the motors working with an Arduino. I think I, I think I freaking got it. All right, we'll go turn it on now. Yeah. The duty cycle is increasing slowly. And that ain't much. This is huge. I motor control is going now I know I can say it's going to happen now. And then I took the code that could interpret the commands from the RC receiver over this iBus protocol and then turn it into motor commands. And I, I put it all in a blender and I said, ChatGPT, make these two things work together and, and check it out. So dumb. Now we gotta put a servo on the, on the front, on the, on the steering wheel. I haven't used servos that much in projects, but the SP32 has a really cool library called the MCPWM library that lets me make them jump around and apparently vibrate. But eventually I figured out how to use them. So I thought it would be trivial to have a pulley with a GT2 timing belt. I thought I'd just control the steering wheel with a pulley without ever having done this. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm a machinist god. <laughs> Version one looked like it would work. It entirely didn't work. This bent forward, it skipped every belt step. The shaft of the servo motor was bending. The aluminum was bending. Everything about it was bad. We're gonna fix it. I was pretty sure version two would work. Craptacular aluminum welds. Gotta fix that. Then there was version three. Other way, good. Good. Ultimately, I was able to control that darn steering shaft with a servo. It just took a bit. Now, an unmanned power wheels driving around for Halloween could be kind of fun, but it's better if it has a driver. And it's better if that driver is a skeleton. 
and I named him Little Timmy. It's October 13th. I got a skeleton pilot. This is it's Halloween. Now I wanted it to appear like a, a child's skeleton, but this just looks like a, a tiny adult human's skeleton. I want it to look like a child's skeleton. So luckily I was able to order a more anatomically appropriate child skeleton skull. There we go. That looks like a child. I don't want it just to be a child just sitting there and I remote drive it. That'd be a, a boring video. That's not enough. I need the skull to look around. But did I mention I want to FPV this thing? I think I did. I'm going to have a camera in the eye socket so I can look around as Timmy's driving, kind of like Legend of Zelda. Doing this involves two more servos, like I haven't learned my lesson already. How hard it can it be to use a belt mechanism to make little Timmy look up and down? Well, as, as luck would have it, I was able to, to eyeball the center of gravity pretty well there, but I need a way to move it. And I haven't done this before, and I'm not an engineer, but I made these little things. So I made this little home, a little bearing to go in there, and a bearing to go in here. I'll need something to hold them on. And then over here, I've got a thrust washer pulley and then because I know about belt tension now I made a thing where it can slide in so I can put the belt on look at this and because I've learned how hard it is to tension a belt now once that's on I can just apply some tension and like screw in a grub screw and that that should be everything I need to go inside of here all right so all the pieces are together now this feels like neurosurgery when I'm going in through the orbit screw in hardware. Look inside there. We've got some serious mechanisms there. We'll get some better footage later. I think you're dope. Do you think you're dope? But I'm gonna have a camera in there. This could be how I look around. You know, I need to do the, the tilt axis. I need to do the tilt axis. So I need to, this is heavy. I now need to figure out how to have tons of that rigidity for the pan mechanism and to also make it look natural I think we go through Timmy's rib cage. I was starting to get discouraged and then I got an inspirational text from my friend Thomas from Mellow Labs. So quick reminder, we have 17 days left until Halloween. I've put up all my decorations. I'm just waiting for your project to come out. You have quite a bit of work left to do. Good luck with that. Gosh darn you, Thomas. Don't patronize me a second time. We've got a, a skull and a mechanism and a... Mr. Falcon. It's gonna be flipping dope. We've got a children's pelvis, and we and we and we jam on a skeleton. Gosh darn it! It's gonna be it's gonna be freaking great. Look at that! Look at that! Darn you, Thomas! I want to give you like kind of a closer view of how I finally got the tilt mechanism to go. So here's here's little Timmy, something that will hopefully not have me on a watch list. Um, I'm gonna undo that. Well, I think that's the only thing securing it. Take them out. Got our bearing there. Okay. There's Timmy's head and spinal cord. And now what I need to do, as I said, I need to take this part out and just elongate a little bit so I can just jam it into the seat. That's what we're gonna do. Here's a live action test to see if I can have little Timmy's skull look at the different cameras in my shop. Camera one, <laughs> camera two. Camera four is basically looking and camera five. There we go. I think I've got time to get this done. I've got a remote control power wheels with a skeleton in it that can look around, but that's not enough for me. We need fire. That was in the opening. Luckily, I've done projects with propane and high voltage igniters before, so this should be trivial. Why buy one metal skull when you can buy two for twice the price? Now, this says cast iron in the description, but this looks close enough to my old steel that I'm gonna see if I can weld it. I, I weld it, I, I close the top part. So what I'm gonna do now is just cut it. Viewers at home, write in the comments if you can guess what tool I don't own. I'm excited about this. So this is a one quarter inch NPT nipple. Now we get to test plumbing some propane into it to see if it will have the desired effect. So this is hooked up to a solenoid here. And when I apply 12 volts, you can turn, it here, turn on and off. This here allows me to control the flow. That's more than I expected. That's quite a lot, actually. Let's turn it down a little bit. That's up. Well, I don't need to worry too much about fenestrating little holes here, because apparently there are tons of holes in it. 
So after a brief conversation with ChatGPT, I added in GPIO pins 18 and 19 to control two relays, one for the propane and one for the arc generator. Suck it, Thomas. Suck it. But we're making progress. I've moved all the electronics into the, um, the engine compartment. I think it'll work. In the meantime, over here, we've secured the head and we put a layer of silicone in there. Assuming nothing breaks, everything's pretty much done. Even the propane relays, even the propane relays seem to work. What's gonna break? Something's definitely gonna break. The question is, will it be mission critical breaks? Scrap the project or, eh. Let's test it. Everything hooked up but the motors. This'll work. It's tungsten. <laughs> All right. Propane. Propane is on. Let it prime for a second. You can see when it comes out. <laughs> oh, my wife asked. <laughs> my wife asked. Can it? Can it? Can the flames be higher? Internet safety nerd gonna tell me everything wrong. He's got a ham radio and he'll report you to the FCC. So flipping dope. Thankfully on the first test run, my dear wife was there to record video and question what the hell I was doing. I, don't you want it on the sidewalk then? Mm -hmm. is a ridiculous person. about eating souls. Don't eat souls. Timmy, turn that off. <laughs> Don't pout. <laughs> All right, let me add some motor driver on. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Sun's 
sad. What a, oh, this is great. You've done your mission, Jimmy. Get out of here before the school buses come. <laughs> It's October 31st, it's 5.58 a.m. and I just finished the final footage. Thomas, thank you for motivating me. Viewers, thank you for watching. Now let's see some nighttime footage, because that's what everyone wants to see. I'm so tired. So is Timmy. I'm your father, up here. You're just a misunderstood, right? You're totally misunderstood. You're not gonna hurt anybody, right? No, wrong answer. Yeah, right answer.